Hello, it's MJ here, and I'm your Atlas to Life. Okay, I do tarot readings intuitively to open you up to what spirit needs you to hear and to make your lives a little easier and more enjoyable. This isn't a tarot card reading. This is us camping because our job stopped and we don't have anywhere else to stay. And this is me in the middle of the night after hours of meditation with what source is giving me. And I'm being guided to let you guys know too. And I noticed this a while back. When I was doing my tarot card readings, that the judgment card is 2020, right now. Okay, but before we dive into what I have to share with you tonight, I want to tell you that my email address is em3dj3 at gmail.com. So shoot me an email, and I can give you pricing and details about my personalized readings and some of the op options that I have available. For you. I'm also EM3DJ3 at PayPal if you'd like to send me any monetary love and support that way it'll be paid forward through the collective one love in the flow alright and on that note I'd also like to thank every one of you who are vulnerable enough to open up your hearts to me and share your love you're amazing and it feels so good to connect with each and every one of you Please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the a little alarm button to allow notifications so you don't miss anything meant for you to hear in the future. And check out all of my other cool sites too, because I do many other cool things besides for just tarot card readings. Okay, so this is what you need to know. I just am getting more and more information this evening. Too much to not share with everybody else. Okay. It struck me in my meditation earlier, I got tons of information about my own personal life and all of the questions that I was asking. And I know I'm guided to help everybody else too. So I needed to just come on here and tell you guys that the major arcana started in the year 2000. In the year 2000, just like Conan was saying. This was the big year. This was important. Okay? Think back in your life. Think about the year 2000. In the year 2000, I was the fool. Sorry about my camera and everything. We're in a tent right now. Okay, so I was the fool. I was very innocent. I had some new beginnings going on. Um, in fact, that's the year that I got pregnant with my son, Nigel. And I was very free-spirited. I was just having a blast, living through every day. I had the world ahead of me. In the year 2001, I, I was the magician. So the will I had the willpower. I had the desire. I was going to create the life that I wanted. I was manifesting this. In the year 2002, I was the high priestess. Can any of you relate to this when you think back to these years? So my intuition started kicking in and my unconscious, my inner voice started to tell me that some things needed to be different, that I couldn't live with certain things. In the year 2003, I think we can all relate to becoming the Empress, okay? So motherhood was very important to me and fertility. Nature, I remember going back out into nature and just trying to connect again with my childhood stuff and all of that. In the year 2004, we have the emperor come. So authority started kicking in. I needed structure. I was trying to be very, I was trying to control my life more than I had been in the past. And issues with fatherhood that I was lacking started coming up for me in my life. In the year 2005, the Hierophant stepped in. So I went back to some tradition and I tried to be like conformed. I would conform to, and I started understanding like the morality and ethics behind the things. 
that were in my life that like I was gonna stick to that stuff in 2006 the lovers come comes so partnerships became important and I started thinking a little long term and I needed a union I needed to balance the dualities between the feminine and masculine principles in the year 2007 came the chariot so when this came in direction and control took over again and this willpower to make it all happen <laughs> okay in the year 2008 strength is the card this was bravery I became very brave I was very compassionate I got I was focused and I was working on my inner strength in the year 2009 we get the hermit card so I started contemplating many things within me and I was searching for the truth and I needed inner guidance and I had to find that in the year 2010 it's the wheel of fortune so change came and cycles changed and this inevitable fate was striking me and I knew that I had to go with that because it's inevitable it was gonna happen anyways in the year 2011 justice so cause and effect came into play I was dealing with some stuff from my past and clarity and truth was being brought to me in the year 2012 is the hanged man so I made some sacrifices and I released some very bad things and I quit being a martyr for others in the same sense that I was after that in the year 2013 is the death card that was an, a major end of a cycle for me it started it was a brand new beginning for me there was change going on in my life and I was metamorphosizing in the year 2014 comes temperance so I decided to take the middle path and use some patience I was trying to find meaning in the year 2015 the devil card so I was very excessive and materialistic and I was being very playful and enjoying all of this stuff this excess in the year 2016 is the tower card so there was a lot of sudden upheaval in my life um, I, my pride got broken completely. I, I faced major disasters, which helped me understand myself a lot more. In the year 2017 is the star card. So I started to get a little bit of hope and faith in rejuvenation. I really think a lot of you can relate to this and by the years too. In the year 2018 is the star card, or sorry, the moon card. And so my unconscious mind started coming back again and making me question and realize whether these were illusions or not. And my intuition started really kicking in and telling me those are not illusions. In the year 2019 is the sun. So I had a lot of joy and success. I celebrated a lot and I was very, I started being very positive. In the year 2020, which is the year right now, <laughs> there's a little moth. This is right now, it's judgment day. It's, we are reflecting on all of these things and putting it all together. And we're going through that reckoning. We are passing their tests and we are awake if we're not awake we are awakening right now because guess what's coming next year next year is the world it's here it's always been right there in these cards they were predicting this long ago so many years ago and it all started in the year 2000 so the world or the universe depending on which cards you're looking at it's fulfillment harmony and we get completion you go collective you're freaking amazing and I'm so part I'm so 
happy to be a part of you and one of you. And I can't wait till the year 2021 because this is when it all comes together. Super cool. I'm going to cut this short, but email me, follow me on my other sites. I'm going to do this in detail when it's not the middle of the night and we're <laughs> when we're not camping. Hopefully that we'll be under some better circumstances and we'll have a home to be in. <laughs> so much love for you. Stay grateful, stay thankful, and we will all be blessed collectively. I love you all so much and I'm glad to be part of this one love and flow with you. Namaste.